What you're gonna need for this tutorial are your pre-made freshies. I've already got mine baked here. Glitter, I've got just some really cheap sample packs that I got at Walmart and then this little holographic glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby. You're gonna need puff paint. Um, you could use Mod Podge or maybe even Elmer's glue. I don't know if Elmer's glue would adhere, but glue is going to dry flat instead of leaving the dimension that you would want with the drip. And then I just have a plate here that I'm gonna to use to shake off any excess glitter. So I'm gonna use um, the color that's most similar to the glitter that I'm using, just in case any shows through. And on this Texas, I'm gonna do the black holographic glitter. And then I'm just gonna take the puff paint. And I'm gonna start adding it to the very top. And then I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna add a bit more in some places where I want it to start dripping. I'm gonna come down this way. And once again, kind of puddle it up in some areas. And just make sure I got this covered on the edge. Okay, so that's good about there. That's where we're gonna start. And then I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna tap it lightly on the table to get these drips to come down a little bit more. So it looks more natural, not like I've intentionally brought the drips down, but they've come down on their own. And I've seen where there's some gaps here, so I'm just gonna come and fill that in. And for me, I'm pretty okay with where this is at. So I'm just gonna get my glitter. I'm gonna start coating the paint. You could leave it just puff paint. You don't have to cover it in glitter. Um, just depends on what look you're going for. I really like the way the glitter looks, so. All right, so that's pretty coated. I'm just gonna flip it over, give it a couple of taps just to get any excess glitter off, and then we're gonna set this aside to let it dry. And then next here, I have this little bowl. I got the mold for this from Midnight Sun Molds. They're awesome. This shape in particular is one of my best sellers. I absolutely love it. The shipping was quick and um, the mold is just, the mold itself is just beautiful. It was very well done. So for this one, I'm gonna use this pink. I'm gonna use this pink puffy paint to start the drip. And same thing, I'm just gonna start at the top, at the edge, and go across. And then I'm gonna come back and start just making these dots of extra paint. You want some to be bigger than others so that it goes, it drips further. Same thing, I'm just gonna take it and tap it gently. about good there so I'm gonna go ahead and add the glitter and make sure that I get it from every angle so there's no paint exposed it just looks like solid glitter all right that's good Thank you. 
and there is some excess glitter left on the freshie. Once it's dry, I can go in there and clean that up a little bit, dust it off. Um, so for now, that's good, and we're just gonna set that aside to dry. Now this one, the next one I planned on doing was a last minute idea I had, another a twist on a rainbow. Instead of making the rainbow different colors, we are going to do a rainbow drip. So for this one, I'm gonna use white paint. Since it's arched, I want the drips to kind of start in the same area. So I'm leveling out the arch a little bit. And then I'm gonna come through and add my globs. I kind of like the look of that. Now I'm gonna start in the middle so that I make sure I have enough room for all of my colors and I'm just going to kind of wing it. I'm not gonna try to make them spaced out or really divide the colors or anything. I'm just gonna start so they blend a little bit. I am okay with that. I'm just gonna give it a little tap to try to shift the glitter around a little bit, make sure it gets on any spots that I may have missed. And then I'm gonna, so it looks like it's missing a little around the edges, so I'm gonna tap it off on the plate this way so it slides off and sticks to any paint might be on the edge. So once again, any leftover glitter, I'm gonna go back maybe with like a, a little brush or a Q-tip and, and dust some of that off once it's dry. But for now, I think that is super pretty. Well, there you have it. We'll let them dry and we'll come back to clean them up a little bit and add the strings and show the finished result. So I've let them dry overnight and I just, I have this paintbrush here. It's a little bit on the stiffer side, so it doesn't, it's, it's kind of a rough brush. I don't know if a soft brush would work. I should probably try that just to see, but I just wanted to come in and show you how to kind of clean it up. So just take the brush And get in all the crevices. You can tell it's already getting all that glitter off. Just 
So you can see it's cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up a little bit more. I've gotten the rest of the glitter off of the freshy part. And now I also just wanna come in here because some of this glitter is going to be loose and I don't want that falling off everywhere into the bag or you know into whoever's car this is going into. So I'm just gonna lightly brush the top of the glitter away from the freshy so I'm not getting more glitter on the areas that I just removed it from just to kind of get anything that may want to try to fall off once it's packaged or once it's hung up in the vehicle. But that's it. Isn't it so pretty? I absolutely love this. Um, next one I do, I think I'm going to make the rainbow black and do the, do the colors at the top. I think that would be really cool. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please give this video a like and comment if you have any questions, if I left anything out, any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone.